Alright guys, in this video, let us learn a bit more about controllers and a few new directives. Now in our app.js, we have created a controller called MyController and in our index.html, we have specified MyController using the ng-controller directive. Let us go ahead and create some data in our controller. So $scope.firstName is equal to Chandler and we can also have dollar scope dot last name is equal to bing now go ahead and save it if you want to make the data available in our index.html we can always use expressions so paragraph tag first name is first name the expression is going to bind the value and another paragraph tag last name is last name. Now, when we go ahead and save it, go ahead and save app.js, go to your browser, reload, it says first name is Chandler, and last name is Bing. Now in our controllers, it is also possible to specify functions. Let us see how. Create a new scope.fullName, but this time assign it a function. Now the function is going to return the concatenation of the first name and the last name. So dollar scope dot first name plus dollar scope dot last name. Save it. Go back to your index page. Create a new paragraph tag that says full name as use an expression type full name but this this time, since we have used the function, you also need to specify parentheses. So once we specify parentheses, go ahead and save it, reload it, you get full name as Chandler Bing. Now that's some more information on controllers. Let us have a look at some more directives. Now let us say a Chandler can be a spy. So we can have something called $scope.isSpy and you can set it equal to true and if he's a spy we're also going to have a code name the dollar scope dot code name is equal to let's say chancy now go ahead and save it now let's see let us display the code name as well in our index.html so paragraph tag code name is code name Go ahead and save it. Reload the browser. It says code name is Chansey. Now, when we have Chandler who goes on a mission with a code name, he doesn't want his first name, last name, or full name to be displayed. He only wants his code name to be shown. Now, how do we do this? How do we show some data but hide rest of the data? For that, we're going to be using the ng-show and ng-hide directives. Let us see how. Now go to your index.html. Now we have our scope.isspy true. Now if he is a spy, then we should just display the code name. So within the paragraph tag, type ng-show is equal to is spy. Now, this means to say that show the code name only when he's a spy. And we also need to hide first name, last name, full name when he's a spy. So ng hide is equal to is spy. You can repeat the same for the last name and the full name. So ng hide is equal to is spy. Similarly, ng high is equal to is by. Go ahead and save it. And when we reload our page, it says only code name is Chansey. So we learned three things. In a controller, it is possible to use functions, and we have returned the full name, which is a concatenation of first name and last name. Next one is a directive called ng show which is going to show a particular HTML element based on a condition. 
And we also used ng hide, which is going to hide certain elements based on a condition. Now we have set ispy to true, so ng show is evaluated to true and codename is displayed. The first name, last name, and full name, however, the ng hide evaluates to true and is going to hide the, the first name, last name, and full name. Anyway, thank you for watching. Next video, let us learn about filters. And I'll see you next time.